Cognitive Dissonance by Bill Shaw. Cognitive dissonance is the uncomfortable feeling from having inconsistent thoughts on the mind at the same time. An example of cognitive dissonance would be a smoker, knowing that smoking causes lung cancer, still smokes. The two conflicting thoughts are, smoking is not healthy, and the person is still smoking. So in order to relieve of this dissonance, the person will either a. Change the behavior, in this case, quit. B. Justify the behavior, either by thinking that the studies of smoking-induced health problems were inconclusive, or saying that it won't happen to me. This theory was first proposed by Leon Festinger in 1959, in his book titled, When Prophecy Fails. In one of Festinger's experiments, he had test subjects split into three groups all to perform the same boring task of turning pegs and knobs for a whole hour. He had the control group fill out a survey of what they thought of the experiment, how enjoy enjoyable the tasks were, negative 5 to positive 5, how much learned, 0 to 10, scientific importance, 0 to 10, participate in similar experiences, negative 5 to positive 5. In the control group, they rated it for in how enjoyable the tasks were, negative 0 0.45, how much learned, 3.08 Scientific importance 5.6 Participate in similar experiences Negative 0.62 He had the rest of the two groups lie to new participants. These weren't really participants at all, and then proceed to fill out the same survey that the control group filled out. The two groups that lied, group A and group B, group C being the control group, were paid to lie to the upcoming participants. Group A was paid $1 and group B was paid $20. After that, the two groups proceeded to fill out the same survey the control group filled out. How enjoyable the tasks were, how much learned, scientific importance, participate in similar experiences. Group A, the $1 group, rated how enjoyable the tasks were, 1.35. How much learned, 2.8. Scientific importance, 6.45. Participate in similar experiences, 1.2. Group B, the $20 group, rated how enjoyable the tasks were, negative 0.05, how much learned, 3.15, scientific importance, 5.18, participate in similar experiences, negative 0.25. The reason that the $1 group gave higher scores on the survey was because they had a bigger dis dissonance than the $20 group, and so in order to clear this tension, they brought their attitudes to be consistent with their actions. The reason that Group B did the survey more honestly was because they had a stronger justification for lying, while Group A did not, so they brought their attitudes towards their actions. The lesson learned here is that when people are forced to have inconsistent thoughts, such as a clash of attitude and action, they will try to change either attitude or action to relieve of this tension. With this tension comes shame, guilt, etc because you did something you did not believe in, and so you will start believing in what you did or did believe. One of the most identifiable cognitive dissonance in people in America recently was the Iraq War. Because no weapons of mass destruction were found, the people that had voted in favor of the war found other reasons for the war, such as freeing oppressed people, etc., towards their action, which were in favor of the war. This is chlorine gas, one of the believed weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. This is sarin, one of the believed weapons of mass weapons of mass destruction that was not found in Iraq. This is taboon, another nerve agent believed to be in Iraq. Presentation by Bill Shaw, narrated by Bill Shaw, written by Bill Shaw.